reload. Yo guys, it's Slinkson. In today's video, I'm going to be giving my opinion on my first two days of the Modern Warfare beta. Starting off the list, I'm going to be giving my opinion on the things I do like about the beta. The first thing I like is the creator class. I feel like there are so many possibilities. There's so many classes you can make to your own playstyle and I think it's amazing. Something new with this Call of Duty is that in the gunsmith, every attachment you put on changes the gun for good and for bad. If Say if you put a stock on, it'll incre increase your ADS movement speed, it might as well decrease your aim down sight speed. Another thing I'm loving about this Call of Duty is the realistic graphics. Everything looks so good, but there's one thing that I don't like about the graphics which I'll get into later. The time to kill in this game is so good, I feel like it's perfect, I feel like I'm shooting the right amount of bullets and it's taking the right amount of time to kill people, but dying is another thing I'll talk about later. I feel like the settings in this beta are better than what we've seen ever before. There's so many options like your ADS sensitivity to your normal sensitivity. I think I run a 1.0 ADS sensitivity and a 8 Y and X sensitivity uh, during the beta and I'm loving it. Something that we've seen so far with uh, Infinity Ward is that they're listening to the community. Everyone was outraged that they didn't have the minimap in and they added it. There's no red dots when enemies shoot uh, but I'll be speaking more about that later on in the video with the compass. I do hope to keep listening to the community throughout the whole game, uh, not just the launch, throughout the whole game and try and make it a really good college day and bring the community back together. I feel like the footstep audio on this good is really loud, which is good and bad. I feel like I'm hearing enemies coming at me, but then that takes away the possibilities to flank. We'll have to see what Dead Silence does in this category. In this gameplay you're seeing in the background right now, I'm playing as a six man and I was loving it. We're slaying out lobbies, one T uh, not TDM, uh, domination game. We actually had 200 to 0. I'll throw up a quick uh, picture of it. I took on my phone right now. It's not the best quality. And didn't get my kills in and that. But uh, we stomped on that lobby so much. And I'm feeling like six mans uh, are the way to go with this Call of Duty. Now getting into things I don't like with the Modern Warfare beta. It may seem like there's lots of things on this list. But I'm simply trying to improve the game by giving my opinions on it. One of the main problems I've been experiencing is the poor connections. I've been lagging. I know my internet isn't the best, but still, normally when everyone's off it, yeah, that's how bad my internet is. Um, I I still lag, and it's it's annoying. It's not fair. I feel like most gunfights I'm running into is ping advantage, and I want this change for the long. Whenever I get into gunfights, I feel like I'm dying in one or two bullets, but when I'm shooting a guy, it feels like it's four to five, and I just, it feels inconsistent. Something that would help with this is if there was a setting to turn on and say, see your ping at the top or the screen or the bottom, uh, somewhere so you can see what ping you're at to see if it's your end or the server's end. Something that's been a bit unusual and I've not experienced from other CODs as much as this one is kill trading. I feel like it just doesn't work. I don't know how it happens or why it happens but I, I don't like this happening in Modern Warfare or any game I play at that. Something that's been happening to me in a few games now is streaks shooting me when I'm in a building. They'll just shoot through the walls, shoot through the ceiling, and they'll still kill me. I'm not even sitting in the window where they can hit me. They're shooting through like solid like concrete walls, and it's very frustrating. A big problem with the Modern Warfare beta is spawns. I've seen 
incidents where I'm spawning in front of enemies, enemies are spawning in front of me, and my line of sight, and it just it just needs work done. A big problem I've been running into during the beta rectangles are places where enemies can be. This is how many places you have to check before moving through the map. It's way more than the standard three lane maps we've had before. Some people like it, but some people don't. I'm undecided yet. Another big problem is that it just feels, the game feels too slow. I kind of like it sometimes, but other times I just want to rush, get some kills and keep going ham. But I feel like a big factor of this is because the maps are too big. The maps are bigger than what we've seen before in Call of Duty. And in maps like Cave, uh, you just can't see the enemies. They're just, they're hidden. Because it's so dark, you just can't see them. And it's very frustrating dying to an enemy that you can't even see. You can just see their name tag, but you can't even see like a red outline of their body, which I think might help. Or in Black Ops 4, they had something on their arm, like a red uh, flashing thing, and you could see them if it was dark areas, and you just shoot at that, and that solved the problem. One of the more unfair things I don't like is head glitching. There's so many times you can just head glitch where, and if you don't know what head glitching is, it's basically where you have a full line of sight on the enemy, but the person that is out in the open, they can only see the very top of your head and it's very hard to counter. Something else that needs to be fixed is in TDMs you can see your kills, you can see your assists, but you can't see your deaths until the very end of the game when you can see your KD in that. But I think you should be able to see kills, assists, deaths and KD like Black Ops 4. And this is also happening and domination where you can just see your kills and deaths and not your objective time or your objective kills and things like that and by far the most frustrating thing within the whole of the beta is people camping in buildings i don't know why they do it but i done it i admit it i've done it a couple of times and i don't know why but it feels good and it feels it feels like that's the way to play in this game, which is very annoying because it's it's not a good way to play Call of Duty. Fair enough, if you want to sit in camping in buildings all game, you can do it. It's a way to play Call of Duty, but I feel there's no punishment for it. You should get punished for not moving around the map like you did in other Call of Duty's where you show up on the mini-map, but in this game, you don't. You show up on the compass. And I feel like the compass and minimap need to be combined somehow because when I look at the minimap, I don't, I'm not used to looking at the compass yet. I don't know if that's something I'm going to learn, if I'm going to learn to use the compass or if I just ignore the compass overall and just use the minimap. So yeah, that's it. That's my opinion of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. Overall for two days I've been playing so far and uh, yeah, uh, the first day I Dead in, I was kind of mixed feelings, I wasn't enjoying it some games, other games I kind of was. And then the second day I had a six man on like you've seen in the gameplay here. And yeah, I was loving it, I was loving life. And um, I feel like six mans are definitely way funner than playing solo in this game. Just so you can get the comms, you can get the call outs. And I feel like I am a bit of a team player rather than a solo grinder. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and maybe even subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, I'm just going to let the rest of the gameplay go in the background. I'll throw in some music and feel free to watch it if you like. If not, then I hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye.